hello and welcome to cat drive uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how to make a pin cross thread screw so let's get started uh, go to the file select the new file i want to be a model where it is in millimeter so this is my origin point i want to sketch sketch on front plane this will be my viewing direction origin point is 0 0 click on ok now let's make a profile of screw so make shape like this sorry this will be our shape of screw what is it? and now we are we have to make arc so let's escape click on arc select a three point arc this will be my first point and the origin point will be my second point so when comes here down and click so our screw shape is almost ready so now we have to make sure uh, it is fully defined so let's uh, dimension this so let's define a larger dimension first so this uh, line and this line distance will be 35 click enter and uh, here nx is giving warning me uh, if you want to skill the entire sketch so make sure you has selected yes uh, if you didn't select yes then dimension will be the dimension size will be greater than or less than the sketch and it will difficult to modify or give dimension to the your sketch so make sure you select yes so now let's uh, define another dimension this dimension will be my 28 mm this dimension will be 2.8 mm the dimension from this point to this point will be 3.8 so now defined uh, let's define vertical dimension this dia will be 4 so 4 divided by 2 this dia will be 5.5 so 5.5 divided by 2 and screws head dia will be 10 mm. so let's define it uh, 10 divided by 2 now almost uh, all dimensions are fully defined but uh, this arc radius is not defined so let's define this arc radius arc radius will be 10 mm so our sketch is now fully defined here is showing is sketch is fully defined or another uh, you can see that uh, all borders are black means uh, this sketch is fully defined so let's exit this sketch finish uh, and you, uh, you can see now here uh, my sketch is far away from my screen whether it will be like this so this pro tip is double click your left mouse button and now you can see the object will be closer to you if you it uh, not in your space so you can do this double click the left mouse button and it will be more closer to you so now let's uh, make a uh, revolve this picture so go to the revolve command and uh, now revolve toolbar is comes to you select the sketch now here an x is telling me specify vector and specify point so i had a uh, given my revolution axis as uh, this axis x axis so now go to the vector and now select the x axis now you can see i did not have to select any point just i am selecting the axis and it will creating a revolve 
for me it will be 0 to 360 degree it will be solid and boolean operation is going to none click on ok and now our reval is ready to hide the sketch go to design tree and hide the sketch now let's uh, make a extrude cut here so sketch and this will be my plane now we will we'll draw a provision for screwdriver so make uh, we want to select rectangle center point rectangle this origin point and create a two rectangle like this one is horizontal one is perpendicular now let's define this rectangles so this dimension will be 1.1 now again click on yes this dimension will be 1.1 1.1 1 .1, click ok now define the length the length will be let's say 6 mm this will be also 6 mm now let's trim the under curve go to the trim command And just trim like this by pressing long pressing the left mouse button and dragging towards the entities you want to trim hit escape now our sketch is fully refined and ready so let's make a cut on this screw finish the sketch and go to extrude command we are now currently using a boolean operation for this so let's uh, see how to use boolean operation with extrude command so here i am selecting my sketch is this uh, vector is per normal to the direction and the length i want to extrude is about 3.2 yes 3.2 and uh, here here it's uh, showing a boolean operation none unit subtract intersect I am going to select subtract and you can see now uh, NX is subtracting me and giving me boolean operation with single feature of extrude make sure the body type is selected as a solid click on ok and now you can see I had made a cut extrude cut on this with simple extrude feature now let's uh, give radius to this center point and another uh, let's define radius for this point one two three four this radius will be 1.1 mm and add click uh, here add new set plus symbol and define a radius for this will be 0 0.2 mm one two three four five six seven eight this eight edges will be having 0 0.2 radius and this center will be having radius of 1.2 m click on ok and now you can see our resting area for screwdriver is ready now let's uh, define the radius for uh, other faces go to the edge plan select these edges these edges and these edges and define a radius of 0 0.5 mm 0 0.4 mm let's say 0 0.4 mm click on ok and now we can see radius is, has been defined another step is giving chamfer to the end so that entry chamfer is must so let's define the entry chamfer will be 0 0.5 mm and now let's make a thread thread provision for that this space so go to more 
and now you can see, see the thread command thread here in detail feature go to thread feature select symbolic to detail and I'm going to select this space and uh, I want M power thread multiply by 0.7 click on OK and now you can see the thread has been implemented in this design now another work is remaining is to giving a fillet at top face so let's say select edge fillet selecting these edges making radius 0.2 mm click on ok and now you can see our threaded pin cross has been ready so that's a simple tutorial from my side and uh, uh, last video tips will be if your model is like this about uh, not uh, you can not able to see the model if you, it is too zoom or too zoom out so the pro tip is just double click your left mouse button and it will be covering the full area and uh, giving you a full view like this so let's so that's all from my side for today's tutorial from CAD drive drive your CAD to your next level thank you please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos like this